Hello. Good evening. Good morning. Good afternoon. How you doing? Hope you are well wherever, whenever you're watching from. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, yeah, thank you for being here. I hope you're well. All that kind of good stuff. And uh, before we actually get into the video, though, head over to my Patreon. You'll find my chat with Shao Rule on there. It's free on Patreon. So for only for a limited time only. So go check it out. And then it's three pound a month. You'll get exclusive content on there that you will never see anywhere else. And uh, as you're probably watching this video, the yeah, so as you're watching this video, the, uh, there was a track that was Krishna's first ever recorded track, 2004, it was dated, I found on YouTube. There's a reaction on that on Patreon, so if you want to see it, go check it out. Uh, you'll also find Bella's uh, uh, Glory uh, glory to God, Glory of God, yeah, sorry, Glory of God uh, mixtape, you'll find that on their full review. Uh, yeah, go check it out. Help support the channel, and uh, because obviously I was just about to break my laptop there, so help support the channel. Brings, yeah, wait a second. Here we go. I got it, got it. Um, then I don't have to waste time with the uh, 95 jobs. So, right, good. No more talking, more watching. Let's get to it. Sorry, that was a bit loud. I, I do apologize about the loudness of that. Chen K, right, okay, so Youngstun is Chen K, that's the thing. Um, I know these guys have been beefing recently, so I think this is from maybe a while ago. Um, but yeah, it's been on my list for a while now. So, we're gonna listen to it. Let's go. So this is the first time I've, I would have heard Chen K, like, I don't know who he is, what he looks like, what he sounds like. Did I, have I ever told you guys my love for Talanjum? I think he's absolutely fucking brilliant. He's brilliant. Like, uh, Mino Mera Idols, I, I heard that. There's a reaction on it, go check it out. And honestly, he's just cemented how good this guy actually is. He's brilliant. War memes, war memes, nice. I know it's very simple, but like, you know, it's simple when someone says it, isn't it? My internet pe war memes, kya tum mein zara sa andaza hai what war means? War means, ya teen ya miskeen, war means. Earth of a curse, death of a dream, tera fauji ya phir mera bro, maa sab ki hoti hai. Rishte na dekhe koi sarhat maa hai sab ki roti hai. Lekin raaj niti ke aage ye baatein chhoti lage. Aur nafrat ki nazar se sach baat bhi chhuti lage. Aur hum chahe to ye jang kab ki muka de. लेकिन हम चाहते हैं कि अमन को एक मौका दे ये जंग वंग छोड़ बंटाए नफरत की जंजीरें तोड़ मेरे भाई बढ़ना है आगे हमें सितारों से आगे है जहान और बंटाए ये जंग वंग छोड़ बंटाए नफरत की जंजीरें तोड़ मेरे भाई सो जंग इस इट जंग वंग और इस इट यंग वंग Jung Wong, Jung Wong. Right. Let me know how it's actually pronounced, uh, because the J's and the W's are different in it. So let me know how that's pronounced. But it means war and riots. Yes, I remember that from the beginning. So let's go. <laughs> एक ही मिट्टी का रंग एक ही खून ये जंग में भी एक जैसा जुनून ये मसले भी हो बहु ये कानून के इधर जैन अब उधर similar sort of thing happened in Albania recently as well but I mean that's just fucked up it really is fucked up like for me personally I listen to a lot of uh, crime podcasts true crime podcasts 
And you'd think, listen to to a lot of those, you'd think you'd be desensitized to this type of shit happening in the news and media, but it just you just don't like. Well, personally, anyway, I I don't get desensitized. Like you sort of feel it more because you think the shit that I listened to was back in the seventies, eighties. You know what I mean? Like I'm not I'm not saying like that doesn't matter anymore. But then when you hear it happening like just yesterday or the week before, a similar sort of thing, it's just like, come on. Ah, oh, this track has got so much meaning behind it, and this is the problem with like anti-war tracks. Like there was that reggae Hindustan as well from EPR. Um, that was more about peace and you know going at the politicians and all that shit. But like the problem is with tracks like that, not many people like the attention span of people sort of just disappears. They listen to it like, oh yeah yeah yeah, and then that's it, it's gone. But like with tracks like this, they need to be held in a different way like they need to be viewed uh, viewed as a different medium because these guys are big now and if they release a track like this i don't know how many again i just i don't know how many people will listen to it they'll listen to it but then that's it it'll be forgotten and then they'll still class another one of their songs as the best uh, rather than something that has deep meaning to it because look at the end of the day sometimes people don't want to deal with problems we just want to avoid problems but they'll catch up to you I catch up to you, so you know, and uh, you know, a problem that I had was that I left my phone off silent and it just went off, so yeah. Anyway, let's go. <laughs> और जितनी भी कॉम दोनों ये मॉडर्न सगी बहन को घूरे भाई तबे ये फौरन लड़ाइयों के बाद भी घर में रौनक छुपे गालियों में बाप के प्यार के नौ रंग गौर कर भाई एक जैसे तौर तरीके फिर मेजॉरिटी क्यों एक दूसरे पे भोंगती है तला तू ठीक है मीडिया की मनोपली ओम पुरी का कातिल Nice, okay, okay, so he's bringing that back like how the media sort of, you know, kill someone's career. Got a bit of a weird flow to him, like a bit of a weird voice as well. Like I don't know, because uh, again, I haven't heard of him. I've never heard any of his tracks before, so this is the first time. Um, I don't know. Maybe you need to recommend more tracks if you like Chen Kelda. <laughs> Wait, um, I think, I think that's probably the definition of, I get what you're saying and I agree, I agree what you're saying, that's, that's the thing, I agree with him, he's right, um, we're quick to call everyone else terrorists and stuff like that, but not many people want to look into what we've actually done around the world, um, so anyway, that's that's for that's a video for a, a different topic. What was the Ika song? Can someone tell me what the Ika song is after that? I'll be honest, I... I'm not 
not sure about Chanke's voice and flow uh, on this track, considering like Tala Anjum's hook and his and his verse. So I don't know, maybe just me on that. <laughs> Jung 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 to am rose lade tang kyunke bache aaj bhi sadko pe bhooke mare sukhe pade shakho se chade patte in baagho mein katil kab se am nero ki boli rat ke phir bhi bhat ke divide and rule kyun saase shay badi bhat ke soot zara hat ke main mutasir un bachho se jo sadko pe bina ghar ke ne dar ye nahi dar te roz rozi ke liye koi ek nahi azaro chanke ladte koi bhi mazhab nahi insaniyat se bhad ke hai farak baut hai farak baut ye غلط بات یہ بات ہے کڑک بات کیونکہ یہ صرف سڑک ٹاک تیرے بھی دو کان دو ہاتھ دو پیر دو آنکھیں ایک نہ کیوں نہیں تاریخ یاد یہ سب گوروں کا کھیل یار آنکھیں کھول یار سچائی اور جھوٹ ایک درازو میں نہ دھول یار اب بول یار کیا قصور ان معصوموں کا جن کے دلوں میں اب خوف پرا جنگ کا یہ اس کا سچا سمودھ سچا سمودھ flow to him ty like he really does and uh, it's only been recent that i've heard like a bit more of his solo stuff but young stunners together like they're just amazing man they really are to ha to pair to aankhe ek na kyu nahi tarikh yaad ye sab goron ka khel yaar aankhe khol yaar sachai aur jhoot ek darazu mein na dhol yaar ab bol yaar kya kusoor aur masoomon ka jin ke dilon mein ab khauf bhara jang ka internet pe ladai janta sab media ka agenda magar aaj ye lafz lehrayenge to mulkon ka jhanda gehre samandar kale badal panchi ghayib kashmir ehle nazar mera aur main uska sail to kyu ye bade likhe Chail, baatein kare na el dilon mein bhara zehr aur mawako pe zahir. Yo, 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 um. Again, deep, meaningful tracks. It feels like the last few tracks that I've done on the channel, um, they have been a bit more deep and more meaningful. Something to think about. Um, so, which is good because again, I just I learned more about the culture. Like I was listening to Sidi Musawala's scapegoat, and I learned a lot more about like you know what happened with the elections because it was told from his point of view, that type of thing, you know. And this is from these guys' point of view. So it's you know I, again I don't know when the beef started but that's I'm sure someone will let me know in the comments. So was it straight after this? Was it I don't know I, what re, what was the reason basically? I don't know. So let me know in the comments and uh, yeah, good. I'm gonna go. I'll catch you on the next one. Until then, stay safe, stay alert, and goodbye, Alafis from me. Hopefully I said that right. Good. Goodbye.